All right, so we got IGN's College Football 25 review. We're going to see what they're going to say, and then I'm going to add my, you know, like my little review uh, at the end. So let's get right to it. Let's go. Johnson, Shout out to IGN. Let's see what they're going to say about it. Because College Football 25's release, that I was a horrible throw. Plans to buy a brand new console just to play it. I've thought Wait, about what? that guy a lot since and about how excited he was. I wonder if he's having a good time because my own experience as a longtime football video game enjoyer has been mixed uh -oh. the on-field action and presentation in college football 25 are generally stellar but the bare bones modes awful ui and slew of other annoyances have made much of what's off the field a slog uh -oh. i get what he's saying all right let's see what they're gonna say uh predicts i think they're gonna give i think they're gonna uh i think ign is gonna give it a, a, a six a six or a seven a six or a seven. College football twenty five. Then I'm gonna get my own rating at the end. What developer EA Orlando has been doing with Madden in terms of its look and feel. You can see sweat on individual players, the yep. lighting is exceptional, and yep. the animations are more detailed and natural. There's yes. also unique intros for each team as they take the field. Yes, sir. Dancing around when their school pulls off a big play, and yes, sir. leaders with school specific cheers. With the actual College faces. Football 25 has personality, impressively capturing a lot of the pageantry and tradition that makes college football so unique. Basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. I also love how much faster and more fluid games are. Plays happen more quickly, there's less delay between them, and players feel like they're moving more nimbly, too. It's True. I said that the other day. Madden True. Isn't. EA Orlando has done a lot of work under the hood to make sure the on-field action represents how college football feels. You can choose between classic passing controls, Madden's yeah. skill-based passing system, and the all-new revamped passing option. Using revamped passing to nail the right mix of throw arc and accuracy takes a little bit of learning, but it's a good system that works well. That said, if you're like me and just want to use Madden's system because it's familiar, it's right there. The throw power stat, now, at last, affects how hard and fast you throw the ball, not just distance. And pump fakes have been improved I too. It's good stuff. Looking for the score! Okay, here's what I think about this, right? With the, the whole, like, um, and listen... I, I really passed, uh, I said pass. I really paused the video, so let me just say this real quick. Then I'm a, I, I, the last pause, first and last pause. Um, that whole thing about the whole, like, you know, uh, like the pass meter and stuff like that. Um, if you guys don't know, like in Madden, um, and bro, I've been playing Madden, bro, for so long. And the, I'm a, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't say I'm like a Madden pro. I've just been playing it for so long. I've been raging. I've been winning games. So it's like a mix between the two. But if you guys don't know, so if you want to throw like a bullet pass, whatever, obviously you got to hold the button down. And then you let it go so you can like throw like a direct bullet pass or whatever. Um, but if you want to throw like a like a law pass or like a really uh, not deep pass, but if you want to throw like a law pass or like a uh, or like a pass with like some air under it, then you just gotta tap the button and you like throw throw it. So like in the end of the day, like with this uh, game right here, I don't know if because the thing is, in order for you to even like have a good throw, you have to hold the like hold the button down for like the pass meter to like fill up. So by default, you're giving like direct passes. Like, does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but um, but basically, like in Madden, like you don't have that. In Madden is basically like if you want to get like if you want to get the ball to your receiver, whatever, fast and quick, you gotta hold it down. And in this game, if you want to like have a good pass or like a great pass, then you gotta hold the bun down. So like it, you get what I'm saying. But sometimes you know you get in the ball like some air that could be like the best move for you. So. Um, like some throws in this game is it, it, a little lackluster, but it is what it is. So, we're into it. Let's go. There are plenty more small but impactful changes from the Madden standard, like this. Receivers have access to 12 hot route options, no matter your yep. quarterback. I, bro, I like this. I like that. In the box, reducing the risk of one play TDs. A lot of the uh, custom, custom routes. Stems allow you to alter the distance of your favorite receiver routes a bit to gain a first down or beat a certain coverage. And if you take a knee when the game is mathematically over, College Football 25 will automatically run down the clock. Yep. This is a small thing, but that kind of quality of life change goes a long, yep. long way. I respect that. Really I like that a lot. I love that. Game we did, and certainly this was a huge win. Similarly, you could talk about the under the hood revisions forever, from the improved uh -oh. options plays to new shell coverage. Bro, these to cheesy plays, bro. This is for my especially money, the, the wild, bro, the wildcat market, giving you a massive amount of control over what happens on the field. Brother, the wildcat is the cheesiest play in, in the game. I'm gonna be honest with you, it literally is.
College Football 25's brand new wear and tear injury system is also a standout. If your QB is. is taking shots to his throwing arm, that will lead to decreased accuracy and yep. throwing power, as well as opening up to sense. significant injuries. And if they throw 40 plus times a game, they're not going to be 100% the next week. It's another nice layer of strategy to keep an eye on how they're doing. However, that emphasizes one of College Football 25's biggest problems, its UI. Shotgun yeah. snap, wants to throw it on third. The icon representing what's actually going on with your players seems to be made for ants, generally so small that it's hard to see what they even represent. Yeah, the only I agree. real way you'll see the impact of the wear and tear system is if it shows up during an after the play recap or if you pause and go into your depth chart. Given its importance, that's not good. Madden 24 True. had an automated hat count that would show you if you had an advantage in blockers on either side of the box during run plays. Man, I haven't played that's Madden in so long, bro. 25. And it's needlessly hard to see how much stamina defensive line linemen have because it's now represented by small blue circles over their heads. Frankly, it's uh, I would, bewildering. I wouldn't say that. I, I wouldn't say that. That's, uh, that's bad at all. I don't think. It's, I don't think it's that bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. On uh, off-field issues. It's obvious that the on-field play is where EA Orlando's team has spent most of their time. The flip side of that, unfortunately, is that the modes themselves apparently didn't get much time at all and are extremely bare bones. The biggest lie college Man, that stadium pulse well, hits crazy. Faceless opponent. You've got your standard play now option. Obviously. Mode to the college football playoffs, which is a quick fire online ranked mode where you yep. pick a team and try to guide them to the national championship. Road to glory, which lets you create your own player and pilot mm -hmm. them through their college career. The flagship dynasty mode, where you'll lead a school as a coach, yep. practice, and mini games. And finally, college ultimate team which yep. is another slot machine masquerading as a trading card game that will almost assuredly make ea lots of money as it gets more updates than every other mode combined is that cynical <laughs> maybe but we've seen this movie before. bro hey we've seen, listen we've seen this movie a thousand times before bro we know what's gonna fact, happen Madden's it is what it excellent is excellent skills trainer has even been replaced by ultimate team challenges and the change is as bad as it sounds these are presented as tutorials but they aren't actually teaching you anything useful and you'll be staring at the challenge failed message a lot more than makes sense. There's nothing about how to read defenses, learn route combinations, or understand play concepts. If you don't know cover one from cover three, College Football 25 is not interested in helping you learn the difference. If you, I mean, you know what? I'm sorry I said, you know, this is my last pause. I'm sorry. You know what? I think you're going to have to lose. If you don't know how to put out a good defense against somebody that's like just destroying you, the only way to learn is to literally lose. That's how I learned 10 years ago when I was literally, bro, when I was like, bro, I was so dumb. I, like, I wasn't dumb. I, like academically, I was smart. But like whenever it came like to football, bro, I was just picking any random play and I was just going to whatever. So at the end of the day, like I really learned like about like, like the cover one, the cover two, the cover three, the blitzes, uh, 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 um, the man to mans. Like I, I really learned like how to like you know really um, read somebody's offense and like read somebody's like you know tempo and read somebody's uh, like mannerisms and like how they play and like oh snap they've been running they, you know they ran five straight play, like you know five straight plays let me see if I can like you know call a blitz or let me see if I can like you know um, throw a like throw like a sand blitz or something like that let me see if I can. You know, let me let me let me still keep like uh, like a safety up top, but let me still like send everybody you know to the quarterback, you know, because they ran for five times straight. So at the end of the day, like yeah, it's all about. I wouldn't say that like the game is supposed to help you. I'm not saying that, but at the end of the day, like I get what he's saying. Like, but you know what? No, 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 no. I was about listen. I was literally about to say like Madden. Like if you like pick a play, whatever Madden. Like you know, like the actual man himself, Madden. Will, like suggest you a play or whatever but that's not really teaching you. he's basically just being like hey you know you should pick these plays or whatever that's like an automated system whatever i think in order for you to really learn then you should either like watch like more like actual like football or whatever or if you don't want to do that bro you can you can just keep losing and keep losing and keep losing but then be like okay cool you know what like i know how to stop like the run now i know how to stop like certain plays and stuff like that so at the end of the day like that's literally how like we listen that's how we all learn we all learn by like losing and go like trying again losing trying again losing trying again and then you know uh one day you know we win so at the end of the day i, I don't really think madden or uh ncaa is, su is supposed to you know teach you um how to like guard like, like you know like stop somebody's run game or stop somebody's pass game whatever i think you are like literally like naturally supposed to learn that 
over time from like losing and winning and stuff like that. So sorry for yapping. I'm, I'm, that's my bad. Sorry. Played an NCAA game before. Reminder: the last one came out in 2013. Yeah, it came out and 10 don't years know ago. How recruiting works? You're probably going to need to watch a YouTube video. You shouldn't have to leave a game to learn fundamental mechanics like. No, no, don't say that. Do not say that. I'm sorry for positive, but do not say that. No, 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 no. There is no, oh, you shouldn't have to leave a game to learn, uh, to learn fundamental. Brother, we do that for every game. I did that for Elden Ring. I did that, uh, I did that for, um, God of War, uh, 3 growing up. Bro, when I couldn't beat a boss, guess what? I had to look it up. <laughs> bro, that's not a bad thing, bro. If you're losing in the game and you need help, bro, YouTube is right there. It's fine. Like, it's not a, bro, everybody does, everybody, everybody, everybody to this day, everybody's been doing that for 10 years straight. If you don't know how to, like, you know, beat a boss or, like, you know, um, call this play or beat this play in this game or whatever, everybody and their mom picked up their phone or went to their laptop or went to their computer, typed this, oh, how to beat this boss in, in God of War 3. Bro, everybody did that. Everybody did that. They're, 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 like, that's not a problem. Like, like. A lot of games do that, like, so I, I disagree with him on that. This, but you will because the tutorials are hidden in Ultimate Team. And I disagree. Everybody looks them, up stuff for, for video good. games. Everybody See does that. Turn this drive into Everybody. Got it first Including me. Oh, not anymore. You guys know I'm a god gamer. Deeply cynical about this design choice. At first, <laughs> no force I thought EA simply expected college football curious folks to wander around aimlessly until they figured things out themselves. In actuality, EA wants them to wander into Ultimate Team and get hooked. I am oh, not no. sure which is worse. Yo, IG, IG and chill. IG, IG and chill. IG and chill. We're trying to expose the plan. I'm pretty whelmed by how repetitive Road to Glory is. You choose the position and prowess of your own uh -oh. student player to get started. The better you are as a prospect, the sooner you'll see the field. But starting off as a less desirable recruit is more challenging and ultimately more rewarding. I started as a five-star quarterback named Joe Throw, and then spent each week allocating energy to stats like academics, health, and training. Sometimes you'll get a text from a sponsor offering yep. you an nil free haircuts deal, and stuff or from your academic advisor offering you some extra study time and you, and you can maintain cheat. a certain gpa without getting so tired you open yourself up to injury it's pretty basic resource management and the lack of any cutscenes means you're mostly just navigating menus and responding to imaginary cell phone conversations that repeat themselves a lot welcome to national signing day once you've selected your school, your uh -oh. college football career begins. I'm sorry, one more pause. If you are doing this, pick a bum school. Pick the bumming school you pick the bumming school you can ever even imagine. Because if you pick a high rank school, you're not getting play bro. No play time for you. As a matter of fact, you might as well bro, you might as well go to the community college, bro. You're not getting any play time, bro. You're not getting any play time. You better start off, bro. Go to a school that really wants you. I don't care. I don't care if it's Arm, uh, Air Force One school or whatever, brother. Go to that school and run it up, and then transfer to a to a big school. Do that. That's the best plan you have. Because if you're starting off as like an underdog, whatever, and you're going to a really big school, brother, you no play time for you. As a matter of fact, bro, the only playing time you're getting is, bro, is, is whenever you hold the snap for the kicker to kick the field goal. That's the bro. That's the only. Playtime you ever get. I'm being honest with you. So, what's really frustrating though is the on field road to glory experience. As a quarterback, you're only given one play call option each down, and you'll have oh, to. Oh, no, that's no, that's for every position. You spend limited play change points that's for every to position. Two other choices. Earn more of your coach's trust, and you'll earn more plays to choose from. But even with maximum trust, you can't audible. So, if the play you're given looks like a bad fit against what the defense is showing you, there's essentially nothing that is a bad do. thing. That is a bad thing. That is it's a bad thing. I agree. You should be able to audio. You should be able to uh, audible, especially Sometimes as a quarterback. Sometimes spending on, play bro. change points barely makes a difference anyway, and paying to get what are essentially two more versions of the same play feels bad. I get that you're playing as a quarterback here, not a coach, but at least let me have one or two pre-approved audibles. Give me something. I agree. Don't get me wrong. Joe I agree. Throw is still winning, but I'm not having that much fun doing it. I agree though like he's a quarterback you should be able to audit like quarterbacks uh, audible and if you start as a two-star recruit there is a decent chance you'll just be managing energy as you play many games from the sidelines it's not a great experience yeah 
We were just practicing on it. are pretty good. Some are variations of the ones in Madden 24, while others are brand new. Several of them, like Option Attack and Pocket Presence, are a lot of fun, and I generally like College Football 25's take on mini games more than Madden's. Okay. To the air on first Champions, uh, championship material. The big draw for many will be Dynasty, where you recruit athletes yeah. and build up a school as a coach. You can even create your own school with custom logos, uniforms, and stadiums, which is a cool returning feature from the NCAA series. Wait, you can do it's that? It's all a good concept, but Dynasty feels similarly underbaked. Besides playing the games on your schedule, all you do is recruit players using your limited time in each week to do things like scout them, check your social media, and talk to their families. You'll level up your coach and unlock new abilities as your program wins, and it can be fun to find a hidden gem of a player, but mostly you're just doing repetitive menu management between games. You don't directly manage or train your players, and they always have the GPA to play and never get into any trouble, which makes Dynasty get tedious quickly. Sure, it's very satisfying to lead your team to the playoffs, but the week-to-week -week upkeep to get there is just kind of a slog. Ultimately, I agree. Dynasty is a fun mode, and there are neat strategic elements to managing your program. I just wish it had more to it beyond that. Okay. Finally, there I agree, are though. all the little issues. At one point, while I was doing the reaction and footwork drill, a bug caused one of the hotspots I was running through to stay on the field, which made completing subsequent drills harder. In-game commentary is often wrong about points, which team threw an interception, how many yards were gained, and so on. True. EA has already apologized for getting some school logos or player likenesses wrong, which it promises will be fixed in the future patch. You no, know, it is what it is. I'm not really tripping about it, though. But I'm not really tripping about it. I'm not... I'm not raging about that. Uh oh, here it is. What are they going to give it? I say a six. And love college football and just want to pop into Dynasty, build up your favorite school, and play some football that looks good and handles well. College Football 25 is likely to please, but if you're expecting a great off-the-field experience at your program of choice, you're going to be disappointed. Sure, maybe EA uh -oh. will fix the UI issues, add a proper tutorial, oh, and yeah, push yeah, up yeah. the He's modes not. a bit more in next year's yeah, iteration. This is six. But the promises of tomorrow aren't certain, and they're not what you're buying. If today. I get a six, you got to subscribe. Football 25 isn't a bad game, and the effort that is has been put into the on-field action is clear. Watch but this. The lack of that same care elsewhere means it's not a great game either. Like Watch any this. good but not great football team, there's a solid foundation here. You just have to hope it can reach its full potential somewhere down the line. Oh wow! For they more sports it a seven. games, check out our reviews of Top Spin 2K25 or F1 Manager 2024. And for everything else in gaming, keep it here at IGN. Shout out to IGN for that video. I was not expecting him to give it a seven. Uh, I was definitely expecting. Uh, here's the thing, though. I mean, at first I did say a six or a seven, but I can't lie to you. Throughout the video, I was like, oh, yeah, he's definitely going to give it like at least a six or like under. Because the way, like, bro, you can tell, like, and, and it's not really a bad thing to, like, say a lot about a game or whatever, bro. But, like, you can tell, like, he was, like, he didn't like there was like some things that really irked him or whatever which is totally no like it's fine it's like his opinion or whatever um but there are some things that i do agree on, with him on bro um i'm surprised he didn't talk he didn't talk about the tackling the tackling in this game is very uh it's very weird the tackling is very weird um you have to legit like tackle somebody at an angle to really take them down if you don't then um then like they're breaking like 35 tackles um some players in this game are legit cheat codes like that one guy from um oh man is it is it Jutson Jutson Johnson Jutson um the guy I think he's like a running back on like the Alabama or whatever uh but I think it's like a player on like uh, Alabama brother he is absolutely cracked do you understand me he is too cracked as a matter of fact bro he's I I don't want to you know get carried away bro but he's like the most cheesiest character. It's not character, sorry. Like these are actual players. He's like the most cheesiest like player in the entire game. Do you understand me, bro? It's absolute, bro. He is so fast, bro. It's not even fair. It's not even fair, bro. And then his spins. He can spin like three times in a row. Like we're playing like some type of Mario game, bro. It's absolutely ridiculous on like how some, I, bro. 
some players are just cracked for no reason. I mean, well, I wouldn't say for no reason. It's because, like, obviously they're going off of real-life stats or whatever. Uh, I mean, I hope so. Like, no shot there. Like, you know what? Let's give this random uh, running back off the Alabama team just, just a 90 overall, just 99 overall speed. Let's let's just make him A-train. Let, let's, let's just make this guy the flash. Bear, uh, Barry Gordon, let's just make him fast. Like, no. Like, I, I, I would assume that this is based off of, like, you know, uh, real life, you know, uh, stacks or whatever. But to be honest with you, bro, the, the tackling is a little iffy. Um, what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the field goal kick thing, whatever. I got used to it. At first, I didn't like it, but I got used to it. Um, what else? He was right, though. Um, it is very fluid. Like, the gameplay is, like, the gameplay itself is very fluid. Um, you can legit, like, scoring a touchdown in this game, bro, is very easy. Especially on that wild cat play. I'm going to be honest with you. That wild cat play has to be the cheesiest play. Oh, my. It's, if you guys don't know the wild cat play, it's busting it. The quarterback calls hike, and the wide receiver or whatever comes around. He gets gets the handoff and he goes around. So it's basically boom, boom, brother. That is the cheesiest play because as soon as he gets the ball, that whole team blocks for you, bro. And all you have to do is like beat like one person. It's crazy, brother. That wildcat play is absolutely ridiculous. Comment down below. What do you guys think about college football twenty five? I think the the game has been out for. Let me see. I think the game has been out for about like a week or so, maybe two weeks. I think the game has been out for about two weeks. Um, I like it. Of course, there's some problems about it, but you know, it's a new game. It is what it is. I'm not really, I'm not really gonna throw a tantrum about a game that that that's good, but also has some problems. It is what it is. Make um, sure so you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys did enjoy, I'll see you the next time. Out and.